Fish farming is an aspect of agriculture called aquaculture. It involves the rearing of aquatic animals like catfish, tilapia, shrimps, prawns, and salmons. It is usually done in constructed ponds, which could be earthen ponds, concrete, or tarpaulin. In Nigeria, the most farmed fish is catfish, which includes the popular ones like heterobranchus. Steps needed to becoming a successful fish farmer. One, you need to educate yourself. This is very important because having a basic knowledge of the technical know-how of fish farming will guide you through the business. In this business, I've learned that um, good uh, technical knowledge is very, very key, very important in this business. It's not a business that you start uh, doing the trial and error thing. You need to take your time to educate yourself, get to know the business very well because it involves some kind of technicalities. So you need to really educate yourself. If necessary, attach yourself to an already established fish farm and learn the basics of rearing and marketing of fish before proceeding to establish your own farm. Secondly, you need to decide on your location. Essentially, you could use three uh, rearing facilities to do your fish farming. You could use concrete ponds, you could use earthen ponds, you could use tarpaulin or we call it collapsible ponds. Uh, collapsible ponds are quite very expensive because the one that will take a thousand fish goes for about something like 200,000. But the advantage with it is that you, you could easily move to another place or that is the attempt you can you can do a temporary setup without uh, losing anything when you when you want to move to another production place so uh, the advantage that is the advantage with it and uh, although they are quite expensive they are also is quite easy to manage um, the ethnic ponds that we have on the farm here the cheapest we ever can have uh, because all you just need to do is to have to embank to, 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 to do I mean to do a, a, a layout peg dig and then embank, embank your dikes um, not all soils are very suitable for this kind of ponds if you do it in a dry uh, sandy soil you, you will suffer filling and refilling the pond and you may not get the results and then um, concrete ponds they are, they are quite much easier to manage uh, in the sense that you can easily clean them, you can easily drain them, and all and all that. So it depends on funds. If one has funds, if you have money available, uh, it's much more advisable to to go for concrete ponds for for ease of management and uh, regulation of water quality. Uh, however. Uh, none of this system is, is bad or absolutely good. The circumstance makes a choice for you. You have to select the site, the location where you want to do your fish farm business. And you check out for three things. The first, you check if it's a loamy clay soil, if you are using Elton pond, and if you are using concrete ponds, you need to construct the ponds. And you have the inlets and the outlets so that it will be releasing water out. And if the elting pond, it must be a loamy soil pond that water comes from it to keep the fish naturally. After constructing the pond, you check the pH of the water to know whether it's acidic or alkaline so that you can control it. Elting ponds are very good in keeping fish or growing fish. First, it makes the fish stays in the water natural like it's in the big river. The location of a fish farm is very important. You need to consider what type of pond you are going for as that will determine the sort of environment required. An earthen pond should have a high water table and should be either clayey or loamy soil. Concrete and tarpaulin ponds can also be used. However, 
proximity to water should be considered as these two require regular drainage and change of water. After construction of the pond, it should be treated and fertilized as that will protect the pond from diseases causing organisms and fertilization, also known as liming, will boost phytoplankton, which is great for the fish. After sorting the type of pond you will use, other materials to put in place include pipes, pipe covers, nets, which are to protect the fish from predators like birds, dogs, or theft. And for earthen ponds, you will need sandbags.